This video is step four in how to build your coil pot. In this video, we'll be focusing on how to smooth and condense all of your coils once your pot is actually built. Once your coil pot is blended and at full height and it fits the general shape of your template, you're ready to start smoothing your outside of your coil pot. You always wanna go a little bit bigger and a little bit higher than you originally intended because remember that clay shrinks. The first tool I'm going to use to smooth out my coil pot is going to be a smooth metal rib. Now this metal rib going all the way around is going to do a really nice job smoothing out the exterior of my coil pot. It's also going to do some work filling any holes, so it's going to take any extra clay that's on the outside of my piece and it's going to fill any of those tiny little holes. If your clay is still workable and not leather hard, you can do some small alterations to it. It still. Smoothing doesn't just happen on the outside, you also need to smooth on the inside so you can see in this video that the inside of my clay pot is not the most smooth area. I can try to use a modeling tool but sometimes the angles just don't work out really well. So I can use this modeling tool but sometimes it will poke into my sides and sometimes it will make more divots than I want. So sometimes the best tool is actually to just use your finger to smooth out your coil pot. One tool I would not use to smooth out your coil pot would be a wet sponge. This adds extra weakness. So the more water you have, the more weakness you're adding to your coil pot. Next, I'm going to check for any empty spots. So you can kind of see in this video, there's a couple of little small holes. And while my clay is still workable and somewhat plastic, I can take nice plastic clay and start filling those holes. So I'm just gonna take small bits of clay and I'm just going to fill each little hole or each little divot. And then I can use another tool to kind of smooth it out. So I'm just going to go through with plastic clay and fill those holes and then smooth it out with my finger. Once you're done smoothing the inside and the outside, it's time to start condensing your coil pot. Now it's okay if it doesn't 100% meet your model. What you're looking for is a symmetrical figure. To condense your coil pot, you're going to use one of the curved wooden spoons in the classroom. We're going to use those to gently tap the outside of your coil pot. Now this does two things. Number one, it tightens all of your clay molecules together. It makes them super strong. And number two, it will help to shape your pot. So instead of having um, kind of some, if you've got some wonky areas, it's going to help you reshape those areas and you can kind of tap it into the form that you're looking for. So as you're tapping your coil pot with that spoon, go ahead and keep lining it up with your template to see if you're getting closer and closer to where you need to be. If you've got places where the spoon won't fit, go ahead and use some other tools, like other wooden tools, to finish condensing in those areas that the wooden spoon is too small for. Once you're finished condensing the outside of your pot, you might notice that some of the tools are going to leave small divots. You can smooth these out both with your finger and with your rib tool. It does not have to be a perfect surface. Um, you're just looking to kind of smooth all of those little bumps out after you're all done condensing your coil pot. Now at the very end of smoothing out your coil pot, if you do notice that the inside there are just some really hard to reach spots, you may use a damp sponge. It should not have water dripping out of it. It should just be a damp sponge and you can use that just to smooth out the last part of the inside. Don't use it throughout your building process. Don't use it throughout the condensing process. Just use it to kind of smooth out the areas you can't get to with any other tool. 